Hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Adventures. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night, depending on where you guys are in the world and what time you guys are watching this video. We're about to head off to the doctors to get our two checked out because only to put the cream on it is a half the battle as you guys can imagine. But I must admit, putting the cream on it from last night has helped exponentially. Pain has basically... bulk of the pain is gone now, so that's a bonus. But you know, it can never be too sure, so we're going to head down to the doctors and get some antibiotics. And After that, I'm not too sure what we're going to get up to. We might go and have some lunch while we're down there, see how we go. But uh, for now, let's head out. guys we're just uh, sitting at the front of the doctor's surgery as we speak I'm gonna give a couple more minutes before we go inside because I gotta go and fill out some paperwork uh, my appointment's not due until about 11:40, but still let's uh, go in at 11:30, fill out the paperwork and go from there hopefully we can get this toe sorted out sooner rather than later even though the cream has helped exponentially still need that little extra sort of help from hopefully antibiotics hope maybe uh, but we'll see what the doctor says you know how the doctors are with antibiotics they don't like to give it away all that easily because it's a very rare supposedly it's a very rare and very complicated thing i don't know it's i don't know where i got that information from it's just something that i remember hearing from somewhere it's very strange indeed so once I, I suppose once we get out of this place, we'll probably go and grab some lunch. And I think the rains are coming too. There's uh, about an eighty percent chance of it raining today, so can't really see the specs at this point. But the rain is definitely coming, and it's about an eighty percent chance of it pissing down rain. That'll uh, slow mum and dad down with doing what they want to do out the back, because they wanted to do another garden bed out the back which I'll probably give him a hand with, uh, but I won't be putting any boots on, I can tell you that for free. Try and get the uh, toe a little bit aerated so I can heal a little bit better. So we've just finished up with the doctors guys, and we got our course of antibiotics that we need to to run through. I'm about to go and grab those now, which is always a fun thing to do. So the best way of healing the toe up is to basically just soak it up in salty water and take the course of antibiotics of course and uh, hopefully in the next couple of days or maybe next week or so it'll uh, punch through the skin and hopefully no more bloody no more pain so I'm gonna keep up with the antibiotics and the uh, antiseptic cream that we've got I'm not gonna let it go to waste but I will additionally add the <sighs> add the soaking with salty water so i'm gonna go grab some lunch and grab some antibiotics so let's go do that right now guys step done that cost us about 50 odd bucks mind you I did end up buying a couple of other things while I was there one of those being this very little alarm clock I know guys I know what the heck am I thinking getting something like that I love things like that guys I really do I love 
anything to do with skulls uh, and anything like each and every time I see something like that I gotta get it uh, it's not gonna be used I'm gonna put it amongst the collection of other skulls that I've got sitting at home <clears throat> There was another one there that uh, was very similar to that, but it was more of a pirate thing than anything else. But mind you, that is a pirate thing. But the other one was more of a, like, had the captain's hat on it. Eh, so I didn't really like it that much, so I went and bought that one instead. You know what, guys? I think I might just go home and cook my own dinner or lunch. Thinking of just grabbing some uh, noodles that we've got at home. It's the easiest, quickest thing to do. Just keep it simple. At least that way you can add your own sort of uh, thing, which I like doing. I like to add a little bit of chilli to mine. I know a bit of a weird unit when it comes to uh, eating noodles. And chilli is definitely one of those things that I like to put in into my little batch of noodles. So we'll uh, quickly get home, put the pan on, and cook our noodles up the way we like it. Just uh, having a gander at the little display that we got for the skulls and I've got a nice little spot for it right at the back there there we go look at that fits in perfectly I'm gonna eventually collect more of these little bad boys I've had this one here for a very long time it's, uh, these three here Plus that one there, I've had probably oh, about a year. I've had that one for 15, 15 years I've had this guy. Plus that one up there, the little coffin. I've had this bad boy for about the same amount of time, for about 15 years. Absolutely love it. I need to find a nice little spot for that one. Maybe I can uh, sit it up there. Yep, perfect dough. That looks awesome. used to cook up noodles he used to do this weird little thing that we all started doing now is we put a little bit of water in the pan as you guys can see we'd fire up the stove and we'd fill up the kettle all the water up and then we would put it into that <laughs> it seems to work bloody wonders I don't know why it just does. A little uh, friendly tip for you guys if you guys want to start doing that every time you cook pasta and whatnot. And, uh, see if you guys like it or not. Just something that I do on a regular basis whenever we have noodles. So while all this is getting ready to do its business, I'm going to do my toe and just uh, get it all cleaned up and whatnot. As I think I need a new dose of the cream. Yeah. I'll go and do that quickly while this is sorting itself out and we'll grab lunch. Alrighty, now noodles are underway. We did put uh, a few different seasonings in there. We put the chicken seasoning that we that usually comes with the noodles. Put all three sachets in there. Also put a bit of Szechuan uh, chili, uh, chili flavoring in there as well. I actually got the little grinder in here yeah. I'll pick that up later oh yeah so ingredients in this is ingredients sea salt brown sugar chili flakes 20% paprika flakes 14% red bell pepper flakes 3.8% 
black peppercorns 1.1%, acidity regulator 330, natural color 160C, contains 35% of spices. So I'll put about, oh, I suppose, probably a palmful in there. So I'm probably going to burn my mouth out something chronic. So we'll see how we go. I like to experiment with food, make it either spicy, savory, or something along the lines of like that. So we're going to put a little bit of tomato sauce in there as well. I know I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to noodles. A little bit of everything is always a good thing for, for us. So we'll uh, give it a go, see how it goes. And while we're at it, we're going to be watching a little bit of Aquaman. We've already watched about halfway through it. We haven't finished it yet, so we're going to go have a bit of lunch and then go and watch a bit of Aquaman. Wait for the folks to get home and then we'll probably go out the back and do a little bit of stuff out the back. So we've got a, another garden bed coming back with them this afternoon. But again, it all depends on the weather as well. Because as I said, there's about an 80% chance of it raining, but for how long, who knows? So we'll soon find out when they get back and how the weather holds out. So we'll uh, obviously do this for a bit and we'll potentially be at the back the next time you guys see us. So we'll see. job's all done and luckily enough before the rain comes because as you guys can see clouds are looking quite ferocious at the moment but uh, luckily enough the job is done I couldn't really do much because of my two and you know, not only that I was wearing thongs so couldn't really help them out all that much but that is the finished product they did a bloody good job dad did uh, bulk the work there was only a couple, couple of times where I uh, helped lift it up and over so I can dig a couple of trenches and so on. Uh, that's going to be looking good by the time he's finished. Well, here it is guys. Rain is finally here. Didn't take them all that long to come through. Probably about half an hour after we Mum and Dad finished off the little garden bed. Rain decided to come through. This one view I love seeing is the rain in the distance like that. It's bloody amazing. Now that the rain's setting, guys, well, there's not much else we can do except for sit back and relax for the rest of the afternoon. Sort of get everything ready for tomorrow. <coughs> Going to work for a Monday start of the week. <sighs> Silly me should have had something in his calendar to remind him that this weekend should have been a three day weekend instead of a uh, one and a half day because uh, Monday's a, Tuesday's a public holiday Monday is going to be dead quiet should have had something off for it but I've completely forgot so I'm going to miss out on this this time around but uh, hopefully we can remember for next time so I'm going to start winding down guys, going to start uh, considering on concluding today's video. Uh, there's not really much else what we can do today. I want to get the weight off the foot because it is starting to hurt a little bit. Um, I'm going to start the medication off tomorrow so we can have the five days to heal the foot up just that little bit. And I'm still going to put the cream on it like first thing in the morning, probably about halfway through the day and then towards the end of the day we'll put it on. But the uh, main thing is to get the medication rolling. So guys, I think this is the end of today's video. Alrighty guys, I will conclude today's video. There's not much else we really wanted to show you guys today. So without further ado guys, we'll see you guys on the next one. Until the next time, keep it easy.